Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Praise. If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for joining. Thank you for joining the mini family. We love you over here. Thank you so much for supporting. Please like, share, support, and leave a comment. If you're um, if you're a returning subscriber, if you are returning, if you are returning to my page as part of the family, thank you so much. I love you. Thank you so much for supporting my page. Thank you so much for not giving up on me. Don't worry, we are getting there. We are getting there. Don't worry. Thank you so much. And today's video, I just want to show you guys how I achieve my summer glowy, dewy makeup look. You know, we love dewy. We love glowy over here. If you love dewy and glowy, come here. Take a kiss because I love you. Yeah, so anyways, you're going to be doing glowy summer summery blushy bronzy you know and everything we're going to be using is affordable drugstore you can everybody we can all get them here anyways guys i'm about to go out and i was like why not just make a video on this look because a lot of people have been asking about this makeup especially from my tiktok you know they've been saying we need you to give us this glowy makeup look so basically um i was like okay let's just film it i cleared my iphone storage and i was like yeah let's film it because you guys iphone storage is killing me killing the hell out of me so we're gonna start with our brows um a brow over face girl i'm not a face them brow please please i am so clumsy and i make a lot of mistakes so if you know you're like me do follow what i'm doing brows before the face don't follow other people do what works for you you hear me hmm. so i do brows even though i i can actually beat my face and you know i still like to do my brows first because that's what works for me do you hear me so then say because somebody's doing now you want to follow 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 if you want to achieve a glowy look in the summer it's hot the sun is scorching. Where is your sunscreen? We're not saying because you're doing makeup, you won't do your skincare. Wear your sunscreen. And if you'd like to see my skin prep routine, just put it in the comments and I will be at your service. I'm going to show you everything I do for skin prep before makeup. But basically, this is mandatory. If you're not using anything in this world, wear your sunscreen, please. And make sure you're getting sunscreens that do not peel under makeup because i've experimented with a lot of sunscreen and i can say this works this is from anwa so basically we're going to start off with our brows i don't have a brow gel i always use my edge control gel and it works it works it works so that's what i just do i use my edge control gel then i use my hand to like scatter the brows you can see like just fling it up and down like this then i do it for this side too i'm really grateful to god for blessing me in the brow department even though he didn't bless me with the ass department the nyash i like nyash but whatever he blessed me in the brow department and i love it thank you jesus love you <laughs> he loves me too basically yeah so you let you just stay for like 30 seconds to just get tacky it's tacky i can i can feel it it's tight like this yeah so you use your spoolie and like just brush your brows upwards like it gives you a lifted look and it gives this like really bushy you know and that's my kind of vibe if that's your kind of vibe come here take a kiss love you anyways so like i just like to like flick it up if i'm looking here i'm looking at my mirror because i don't have magic eyes right so you flick i also want to say something because when you apply your sunscreens and apply your skincare routine let it stay for up to like two minutes a minute just give it time to sink in the face so i have applied the sunscreen way before yeah so let it stay well and sink in your skin so you're not 
merge into products together and it starts peeling because that can be a reason why your sunscreen is peeling so you can have a good sunscreen and it's peeling your makeup so i would say let it sit like two minutes to just be on the safer side yeah basically you guys do you like my rose my hair yeah so you flick flick up for those that are not blessed in the brow department just do your brows the way you love them to be done and yeah but this is how i love the, my brows to be done like you don't have to like copy whatever everything i'm doing same with the other brows i love these brows more because i don't know they're just cuter you guys i wanted to try doing micro blading i don't know like on my eyebrows i don't know how they would look like I just don't like doing permanent things because I like to switch things up. So what if I, I'm tired of it? Because people say those things last like a long time. So if they have like temporary ones, I can try those. But if it's permanent, that's why I haven't gotten a tattoo. Because I feel like I would just not like it again. And well, you see like piercings, I can switch up the jewelries, you know different things and i'm looking good you slick it up then i use this part to just just yeah i don't know what that is but just do this so to fill up my devout part of my eyebrows i'm using this pen from nyx this is their um lift and snatch pen really really love this pen you guys i have to bring my mirror closer yeah i love this pen so much so i just you know and i like that it has a very thin applicator so so just in case you applied and it is looking like mine and it's like too bold then you can just use your spoolie to brush it out to distribute it so i'm gonna use my concealer to clean that so it's not a problem yeah we are done with the eyebrows now and I'm going to use my concealer to clean. This is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer. So I know you had Sephora, but it's not expensive. Like this is the drugstore in Sephora. If it is, I like the Makeup Revolution. I like the NYX Bear With Me. Just in case you want to try other brands. So you guys, my brows are done now. And we're moving on to the face. If you like eyeshadows, you can move on with your eyeshadows. But for this look, we're just going to leave it plain and really simple. So basically, for the face, I just like to use this highlighter wand. This is from Technique Makeup. Just a little because this can be like so much. Just a little for that glow. If you do not like it, you can skip. It's not so compulsory, but it's part of the routine. Um, then I take this flat brush here to just blend it out. Also, I like to just put it on the high points of my face, you know, so you can peek through the foundation. That's what I like to do. You know, just my forehead. And yeah, you can see, you can see it's just on some part of my face. I can see it on my forehead. So when the light or when the sun comes on my face, you just, you get. This is the Revolution Skin Silk Foundation. This is a luminous foundation. Yeah. Luminous. So I just, I opened it wrongly, but basically, yeah. Uh, it's a luminous foundation. You can see. Very lightweight. I love this. If you... I'm looking for a sign to get this foundation yeah get it so i use this also to like just spread it out you know it's a really beautiful foundation and another trick i like to do is since it's a flat brush i didn't use concealer on the top of my brows so i just use this on the top of my brows you know so it's seamless so it's not even looking like you have used anything to clean it if you get what i mean i see simple so if you are following this tutorial and i catch you using your concealer on the upper part of your brows oh god 
I am done blending the foundation and you guys can see it's luminous when you see luminous it's luminous you can see my skin is glowing i like to put on my lips because this shit will always show every time embarrassing me we're done with the foundation so we're going in with um contour or i'll take bronzer please um i love I prefer bronzer to contour. You know, contours are like cool tones, and bronzer bronzers are like warm tones. So I prefer warm tones on my face because cool tones are just just so ashy for me. So this is um, Primark. Is a concealer stick, but it's in the darkest shade. So you can see everything I'm using is cheap, 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 cheap tones. So I for the very beautiful look. Everything I'm using here minimal. We're not doing too much. We're not using so much product. No. Then make sure you're blending this upwards so you can have a lifted look. So it looks like you, you did your face. It's time for blush. I do blush now. This is when I do blush. And, um, yeah, I forgot my nose contour, so I'm gonna do that after. This blush is from Gio, it's like a Portuguese brand, I think, but any blush will do. Let's blend. See, it's just like a very subtle pink. Like, it's not like pink, pink, but it's like subtle and it's very good on black skin for we melanin babes. Yeah, but it's great. I love it. You can see, perfect. And you like, I like to blend it into my contour so like everything looks seamless. You don't know where it starts from and you can't see where it ends. This is how I do my makeup. Very cute, very simple. Not too much. You can see, blush given. Ah! My skin is eating. So you can always do your nose contour the way you like, but this is where I like to do mine. I like to drag it up to my like my brow bone. And now we blend. Where's my blending brush? I'm using my Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer here. Just minimal just too minimal yeah like that and i like this concealer it's really creamy very beautiful period that's the only place you need your concealer to be at blending is the key to any beautiful Revolution Set and Spray to just refresh the makeup. Yeah. So for powders, we're gonna use this um, Maybelline powder. This is the pressed powder. So we're using pressed powder to set, then um, baking powder to bake. I know I said drugstore, but I love Huda Beauty. If you want your makeup to last, try Huda Beauty. But I use this uh, Maybelline press powder to bake first, then, sorry, to set then before I bake. You can see, you can see how ugh, so good, so smooth, like it just blood on my pores, like I love it. Like I can literally leave my face like this, but I like to be extra. Look at that, pretty. So basically, right, I just use this um, Huda Beauty to bake. So this is where we just pack the powder, you know, just for that extra layer of security. Because, you know, the sun is, the sun is so much, it's really hot and so I went like sweating. 
you know I mean it helps the makeup last for hours so it's that good love it so one thing I like to do is under my cheekbone under where I put the contour I just like to pick there not so much so it doesn't leave a harsh line but just yeah something like that all right then i'm just gonna use my powdered bronzer just for my eyes you know something simple you can see just that's what we're doing the powder and this is where my face is looking looking so smooth love it you can see see the glow you can like, like pretty then I use my spray to just refresh my face yeah I'll leave it to dry and I'll come back I'm just doing my lips now like look at it So basically, I never used to have lashes, but now this mascara just magically gives me lashes. Like, look at this. Look, like, look at this. I have lashes now. <gasps> L'Oreal, this L'Oreal telescopic mascara, get it. And it's so expensive. Get it. It's that good. So for my highlighter, I'm just going to take out this highlighter one. Take it out on my hand. Then... Uh, I just use I'm going to use my blush brush where is that okay so I'm just gonna blend it on my palm like this then I apply just for like a subtle you can see like a subtle blush sorry um, glow effect subtle ah, love it So you guys this is the finished look and i look so pretty like what yeah look at that glow look at this subtle pretty makeup <laughs>